I had a patient uh, that I saw this morning and I was telling her um, that really what I'm trying to treat is how other people see you, not necessarily what you see. And I know that sounds a little weird because people usually come into a plastic surgeon and they say, look, what bothers me is my thin lips. Please treat that. And I may tell them, look, hey, you may be beneficial, may be benefited by doing some other something else. For example, I had a lady just this afternoon that said, hey, I really want to do my facelift. And I said, well, I would love to do your facelift. I think you would actually get a good result with it. But your eyes actually really need the therapy because that's where most of your aging is. So I try to direct patients toward where the most bang for their buck would be. Uh, and the price of the eyes would be about half the price of a, of a neck. And so this lady told me this morning, she says, yeah, you remind me of this Pons commercial where someone, I guess a lady drew her uh, drew herself and then someone else drew her and it looked totally different because you know, people always are, say, you know, I don't care how people look at me. I just care how I look. But if you if people look at you and they feel as if you look a lot better and you give you compliments, then you're going to feel better about yourself. It's a natural inclination. So like that Pons commercial, what I'm actually trying to treat is how other people look at you, even sometimes more than you see yourself, because women in particular, you know, hold their mirror so close to the face, they have a distortion. The fine lines around the mouth, they see asymmetry, wrinkles, and that may not be the thing that's causing the most aging or the most um, unattractiveness. So I try to give them a different perspective on that. And uh, like the Pons commercial, I think it's really important to see how other people see you, even though it may not be a priority for you. But the one bottom line I always tell my patients is that, you know, ultimately, I'm not treating cancer or heart disease, I'm treating what, what, is elective. And so if you decide not to do that, that's great. The lady I just did um, this week for a facelift, I had told her the same thing. I really think you need you to do your eyes. She really wanted to do her neck and she looks spectacular. She's been so kind to actually let me use her, her video and photographs even a, a day after the procedure to, sh to show the recovery and the results so far. But Yes. So the idea is I'm here to give you advice and guidance as an artist. It may not be exactly what you want, and it's fine. You can pick and choose what you ultimately want to do so long as you're not wasting your money or I'm not hurting you.